Hi everyone, I'm Yvonne. And I'm Brian. Welcome to our channel. We are Y&B Adventures Over 50. Join us as we adventure across New England. Thanks, come along. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and big thumbs up. All right, we are going to take a hike today. Where are we headed? We're gonna head up to 40 Caves in Auburn, New Hampshire. It uh, overlooks the city of Manchester and it's got a uh, big overhang rock nice. face. Nice, so. and here we are here. It's a beautiful area. Got the Jeep with us. We just, uh, we're gonna head out and uh, let's see what we can find. All right. Let's go. Last time we went, well, actually we've gone twice. Uh, the first time we went, we just kind of was going to see what was going on. And- uh, Actually been three times on there. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, the first time I remember, it was kind of like a date. We're like, oh, you, he's like, oh, well, you want to go to see the caves? I'm like, okay. And of course I didn't have hiking shoes on and I, you know, we were walking down the path. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, oh, they did some work over here. And uh, of course I didn't have shoes on or, or hiking stuff or, or anything like that. Um, so um, we made it so far down to like a water that crosses the road and uh, yeah, I couldn't get across it because didn't have, you know, water shoes on anyways. So I don't remember the next time after that, but the last time we went was what, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago, maybe? And of course, right over here, I don't know what he was looking, what were you looking at in the tree? Uh, there was a bird. <laughs> was that? <laughs> there, was, there was a bird like up in the tree here. It was making some weird noises. And he's down here. I don't know if you guys can see this little gully or not, but he goes to cross back over and uh, takes a tumble and, and like fa face plants on the ground over here. <laughs> Couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it's like, because two weeks before that, we went on another hike down, where, where did we go to? Uh, Across where the railroad tracks are and the new paths. Oh yeah, the uh, Heritage Trail. The Heritage Trail. So we go, to, <laughs> we go down the Heritage Trail <laughs> and of course, there's trees that have been trimmed, so there's little tiny stumps sticking out. I'm in front, of course, I catch the tree stump with my toe <laughs> and, do like a, and do like a flip roll, I don't even know. But it was horrible and it was funny at the same time. So anyways, to stop rambling, um, I took my, my rain boots this time. He obviously has hiking boots on so it's fine but um, I took a change of socks and some things and we're gonna we got them in the backpack we got our GoPro on and we also took we took the drone which is a what drone is it Mavic Mini 2 yeah so we're gonna see um, in Manchester New Hampshire because of the airport we're not allowed to video um, there's only a very, very small amount of spots because of all the landing patterns. So we're going to see if we can take the drone up and, um, yeah, let's go check it out. The grass has grown in quite a bit since we were here last. Got all that rain. And rain. Yeah. It's kind of looking uh, a little tropical in here. Hopefully the mosquitoes aren't too bad. Well. But they don't seem to be bothering us yet. Well, yeah, usually there's like little gnats and stuff in your face. Oh, I love it. I love when all the greenery's out and spring has sprung and saw some really cool mushrooms in the yard the other day. Old. 
I think my uh, my oldest son has a really nice one too. I had this pack when I was uh, in Outward Bound. Where is that? Uh, well, I was running it up in um, Iron Mountain, up near Laconia. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a, it was on a uh, Boy Scout camp. Oh, oh, Hidden that. Valley. Oh, that must have been cool. Is it still there, or? Yeah, Hidden Valley is still there. Oh. Boy Scout camp. Oh, have you gone by it at all since um, then? A few times, yeah. I mean, you'd go up there and say, "Hey, look, I used to be here and yeah. take a little tour around. Maybe we can go one of these times." Yeah, I remember the trails. I'm sure they've all changed. It's been yeah. so long. Well. And they constantly are updating and changing because uh, they do logging. Ah, oh, okay. So they build new logging roads <coughs> and cut clear cuts and stuff. And so I don't know what, <coughs> what has changed about the uh, forest. Well, like I said, we could, could do that. Okay. Check it out. Trying to figure out what bird that is. That's what we were doing when he was on the side of the road in the gully there. We were trying to find that bird. It had a really weird uh, song. <laughs> you had to take one for the team, honey. All the chipmunks, you can hear beep, 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 beep. Now I wonder if this is a, um, this is like a fire road? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the, well, the, this is a fire road. There's a bunch of fire roads all through this because if they need to get in here to put out a fire. Does this go down to water or you said there's ledge and stuff here? It, um, so the main trail continues around the, other side of uh, Massabesic Lake. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, and then the trail that we're going to take that goes off to the left brings you up to the 40 caves and the outlook. Yeah. And we'll end up on top of the ledge. And then there's a trail that goes down around and then goes underneath where there's actually a cave that you can walk through. Really? I've never actually attempted to hike in uh, rain boots, but <laughs> there's no other way to get across. So, okay, I'll take that back. This is a bull Just a slight delay. Can you tell if that's a bull trout. Where? Right directly in the middle of that mud puddle. No, that's all the green. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, something was moving over there. Yeah. I hear trickling. Those must be just water bugs. Yeah. Look at that, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look at that beautiful tree leaning over. I love that. All the moss on it. Oh, that's a great picture. I hear water flowing. Oh, down here. Look at that big dam right there. Wow. You see it? That's all beaver dam. Look at the level of the water above it. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see the branches. Oh, I don't think we made it this far before. Oh, no, we went down. Oh, yeah, we went down to the water that way. Yeah, 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 that's right. We'll see if I gotta, after we get past the water, when you know we're past all the water, I'll change my shoes back. And it's about 65 degrees, and it's June 12th, 2021. We're in Auburn, New Hampshire. 
you like to come along on our adventures, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. You can see uh, all the places we go to. I also refinish furniture. I have another channel um, that's under uh, Lady with a Hammer. So you can go check that out. I'll drop a link in the description. You sure? I don't remember going up a hill. Yeah. It, I, I don't remember going up a hill. I don't remember making it this far. I don't remember seeing that bit. <coughs> Maybe not. Maybe that damn not thing. I, yeah, I don't remember seeing that damn thing. Maybe I can change my shoes back. Well, wait. Are they uncomfortable or? Are they uh, they're okay for right this second, so I'll wait. Just in case, because this I can't remember if this goes up and then comes back down to another okay. yeah. low spot. This uh, I forget what this is called. It begins with a P. Um, supposed to be a good herbal thing, and everybody uh, everybody always kills it. Hi, Bush. Yep. Nice. We have a, I believe it's a hi hat variety. It's um, basically a patio blueberry. So it, you know, it's easy to grow if you have an apartment or just in a container. We're in New England. Containers aren't really the best thing. They, everything freezes and dies in the winter, but um, I planted it right out in front of our house. It's like, it's beautiful, you know, it flowers, it fruits. I mean, what? why hide it somewhere? And you're not supposed to move blueberries and you're supposed to be gentle when you trim them. And uh, I actually just transplanted it and moved to New Hampshire. Uh, I had it for six years, couldn't figure out why you know, from say 12 inches down, had no leaves on it. And uh, yeah, caught my chihuahua out there nibbling on the leaves. So every year she was stripping off the leaves, off the, <laughs> the blueberry bush. So I had to put a little fence around it. Cause you know, we don't have rabbits. We don't have, when you have a little chihuahua, that rules the whole yard. You don't have you don't have anything in your yard. A lot of fallen birch. Wow, that's a birch never make it that long. Look how big that birch is over there. They never make it that big. Hey, if a tree oh falls in the woods, does it make a noise? See, now if you brought a backpack with you. You can harvest all this. Hmm? And people actually use this for everything. I mean, it's it's basically veneer wood. You know, yep. all you have to do is trim it. I could make a nice sides of a table with that. Yeah, we're gonna have to grab some. Take your uh, trusty backpack with you. We should probably scuff our feet on the ground. That will help the uh, the trail, you know. I'm sure, it probably doesn't sound very good on the video, but Ooh. Getting a little skinny here, but it's still still a path. Ooh, look at that moss. That's lichen. I never see lichen on the ground. Man, that's lichen. Huh. Interesting.
my uncle used to know which tree mushroom was good. We had ones at the house. My parents live in Burlington, Mass. Um, they have like a, it looks like a dinner plate. It's kind of like, like a shell curved like that, sticking out from the tree. And uh, my uncle <clears throat> knew which one, it's Italian, knew which uh, mushroom to uh, collect. And uh, yeah, I used to come up all the time and get them. My parents have a little bit of a conservation area in the back of their house. So it was out on the trees in their property. Now ah, look at this cool rock. You can have some of the uh, lichen on here. You can, uh, it's edible. You can stew it or Fry it, make it into teas. So if you're starving in the forest and you need something to sustain you, you can always eat that. Hmm. Yeah, it's got kind of like a nutty taste. Yeah, but it's very mild. Mm -hmm. Be perfect in the salad. Look at it all over that one there. Yeah. Nice. We'll have to throw some uh, Ziploc bags in our in your backpack. So uh, we can do some foraging. Red quartz, or rose quartz. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Where did we go when we saw a lot of, um, I think it was the quarry. Yeah. We walked around the, um, where the ski slope is? Yep. And where is that? Um, McIntyre ski area. In? In Manchester. Yeah. So at the top of the hill, when you go to the top of the hill, there's a path um, right past the ski slope uh, lift to the, to the right, uh, there's two paths. If you take the one to the right that's to the left of the fork, um, it'll bring you over to the, oh, you all right? Did you land on anything? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's why I was just gonna take my time going down here. Got it? Yeah. And your backpack has got, well, that's why we bought, <laughs> you okay? That's why we bought the, uh, that heavy duty case. Where did we get that at? Um, actually, I think we got it at um, uh, Harbor Freight. I gotta remember to go this way or this way. Good thing for sunglasses. Poke your eyeball out. Yeah, see the thing is it's yeah, it's dewy. Yeah. So if you don't walk on the uh leaf color, yeah. The solid rock is slippery. Oh, there's another pretty yellow flower right there. Oh. Yeah, how did we get off this trail? Oh, you had us take a turn. Yeah. We should have just stayed on this path. Is that what it is? Maybe. <laughs> That's all right. We just did a little uh, off-roading. <laughs> oh, look at that view. Whew. You can see way over there. I hope you guys can see it. I wonder what mountain that is over there. It's pretty tall. Uh, it's uncanonic. Hmm. You put the powers on it. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I can, I can faintly see them. You can see it if you're going towards Bedford, you can see it. Up. Okay, yep. See, these ones are out in the sun, so they're drier. But just be careful, your feet are probably still wet.
just get my foot on that ledge right there. And this one here. And then I'm gonna hop down. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of a hop that was, but. Woo, what is that? This used to be all clear. I don't know. Oh, <gasps> wow, that's really far down. You see, can you see the crevasse, you guys? Let me see if I can get over here. Look at that. Holy smokes, I'm gonna move this branch so you guys can see. Let me see if you guys can see down there. Woo! So this rock right here. Look at all actually that. Just sticks out and there's, it's empty underneath. Here. Okay, so we'll see you later when question we'll is, how do we, can we get down there without? Nice view over here. Whoa! I'm not a big fan of. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to be careful. And that's one of the cave entrances, is over here. It goes in underneath that rock. Look at that, guys. And there's another one underneath here. Look how high we are. We're going to see if we can get down there. Just these are these are wet, so be careful. Ooh, those are really wet. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, go over that way. Ugh. And you can grab on over here. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my god. You might have to go down this way and then over. Because it's too much of a drop right here. Well, is that a jumping drop? What is that? Uh, you can try it that way. I don't know how it's too steep or too far down. Pop down. Uh, no, I think it'll be fine. Oh, it's very, 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 very slippery. Yeah. So I'm already committed. Because <laughs> there's no way you can get back up. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ah, okay, I made it. Nice. Look at that. Very cool. <laughs> it looks like you can go up this way. Yeah. It goes up and around. Oh my god. We're in an actual cave. I don't know how much you guys can see if it auto corrects the light or not. Back this way. Oh. oh, you hit the roof? Yeah. Kind of cricked my neck. Oh. I've got the cool moss down here. Can you see it? That's a cool picture right there. I'm gonna get it back this way. Look at this. Can't believe we're actually in rocks, underneath rocks could possibly fall and kill us. And here is where we were standing on before. No! Isn't that cool? 
Oh my God, look at that. I can't even see where's the ledge edge, right there. Holy smokes. Wow. Oh, it's still pretty far down, check that out. Yep. Look at the tree right here. Growing in the side. Wow. More uh, rock lettuce. Look at that one over there, it's covered. Ooh, this one here too, look at that. Look at the back of it. Look at the back of it. Yeah, it always grows on the... Uh, yeah, but I'm talking about, look at the stuff. black. Yeah. Oh my God, that's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. <gasps> wow, great stuff. Look at this. I don't know if I can look up without falling over. That is over my head. Look at that. Oh, there's a bird's nest. Must have been up in the uh, crack over here. Oh yeah, they probably stuffed it in there. The cave over here. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one. Oh yeah, I see it. Ah! What the frig was that? Oh, <gasps> what is that? That's a baldy. Oh no, that's a... Is it a turkey? It's a turkey. Here, get down, get down here and look up. Yeah, it's a turkey. Get a, get a, a picture of him, look at him. Oh, he's gonna fly off. He's gonna fly off. Chuck. Yep. Where is he? Right this way. Oh, he's going. Oh, did I catch him on camera? Oh, he's right there. Oh, you can still get a picture of him. Oh, oh, I'm stumbling. <laughs> yeah, watch where he's stepping. Right, right here, you can see him. Look at this. This is above us. Probably a 50 pounder. Nice. Oh, the damn thing keeps on going and going. Yeah. I'm just gonna peek over there. The little cave goes in there. And then there's another. Wow. Look at the weird crooked trees. Yeah, but look at all these rocks here. There's got to be more spots, you know. Maybe we can try to go up, over, and then back the other way. Uh, Peek down. Not really an easy, you have to climb over the rocks to get up there. Now I forget which way we came. And we came up through the cave. Where? Which way? Up there. Through In the that cave. hole? Yep. Um, are we going to, you want to go back up towards the top or are we going to go down and around to the bottom? Yeah, where's the, which way is the road? The road's over there. Down at the bottom? Mm hmm So if we go <clears throat> down and follow it that way. Okay. It comes out to the, uh, fire road. Okay, let's <clears throat> try it out. And it's always good to, uh, send your, you know, children or your relatives, your coordinates, tell them where you're going to be, uh, you know, because you could fall and hurt yourself and, you know, bad things can happen, so just kind of let somebody know where you're going. And don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more adventures. Also, give us the thumbs up. 
I didn't hear our bird fly off. He's got to be like right here somewhere. It's gonna be like right over there. Up in one of those big trees up there, maybe. Oh, I think he flew. I don't hear him moving. Oh. He doesn't take a crop on us. <laughs> it's supposed to be good luck. Although I wouldn't want to get hit by a turd that big. <laughs> and the good thing is, um, well. Rock maple. It's always a safety, good safety measure to, um, if you don't wear glasses, to wear safety glasses. That way they, you don't have to be so careful walking through the woods and get a stick poke in the eye. Um, it's very dangerous. Or, you know, if, if the person in front of you was to hit a branch and you're really close and it does the whiplash, whips in the eye, you don't want to poke an eye out because you're hiking. So, good pair of shoes. Good pair of shoes. Beach tree. Yeah. Safety glasses. Don't forget to pack some water. We have a compass. Um, we're not super far away from everything, so we didn't pack any food. But it depends on what kind of a uh, hike you're gonna do. Pack some stuff with you, just in case. Our friends, uh, they do sunset hikes. So basically they hike to an area when everybody's on their way back because they want to catch it at sunset. And then, you know, obviously when they're hiking back, they need flashlights and they've actually had to give help hikers out of the woods because they're lost now. They didn't make it back and it was dark. And um, so yeah, they're, they're very good with that. They bring food, extra food, extra water. Um, Flashlights, compass, you know, rope, tourniquets, all that kind of stuff. And if you don't know um, some basic first aid, you know, just look it up. Everyone should learn how to do a tourniquet. Save your life. Save anyone's life. My, uh, my son got in a... Pretty horrific motorcycle accident. Somebody ran him off the road and uh, his angel that stopped to help him basically had two decisions to make or two, two things to make instantaneously. Do I chase the car that just cut him off or do I stop and help him? And if he didn't stop and help him, he would have died there. So he stopped, ripped his shirt off, made a tourniquet for my son's arm. So yeah, he's, a, he's his angel. He's our angel anyways. So yes, very important to learn how to use a tourniquet. That was friggin' killer. Yeah. There's another area that goes down to the water which was kind of hard to access last time we were here. Um, should be up here on the left somewhere once we get down the hill. I don't remember seeing the opening. Yeah, that's what kind of threw me off. Yeah, well. But I, I guess I wasn't really looking for it. It could have been where the water stream was going, but like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for it either. Just kind of enjoying the scenery. Be able to ride up here because it's now closed, but this trail goes back and then there was a bridge. They took the bridge out, so there's no way to get to it. Which I think is what has prevented a lot more people from coming over here. Well, we have, um, we have electric bikes. What kind of bikes are they, Dare? Tell us a little bit about them. Uh, they're speed rid, 750 watt. Um, electric bikes with four inch wide tires, but they're 20 inch and it's foldable so you can fold the whole bike in half and they're still pretty big, but uh, and what, somewhat And they portable, weigh what? Like 65 pounds. Right. But we went the other day, um, average, I would say flat land and then, you know, 
some hills like this, um, if you put it in lower gear and you're doing the assist, you can actually, you know, continue to sit and pedal with the assist. Um, you, you really got to play with it. You can go pretty far. Though. You can go. You can go pretty far. Yeah. If you if you pedal, just gently pedal, while it's in one, you go about. Well, you don't want to do it on. Yeah, you don't want to do it on this stuff. You know, like uh, when you're driving through the city and stuff. Ten miles an hour is nice and comfortable. Going through here, I like to go a little like eight, because you know you're not supposed to be. We're not running a marathon. We're looking around and enjoying yeah. ourselves. You know. So that's the short trail up, which would have brought us up to the top. Remember where we ended up coming across that trail? Yeah. That's this one. Okay. So if you didn't want to take the long way that we just took, you could have just gone up here. I like the swampy smell. I haven't seen that trail yet. Oh, I got to change my feet, my shoes. Oh, yeah. Weird, right? I'm gonna change my shoes, we'll be right back. All right, we got our my shoes changed over. Look at this cool rock. It's like mica and stuff. All right, through the water. The last time we came there was like there was like four things. I couldn't make it through any of them. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more water. Yeah. Well, passing. Well, there's one up there that's, this one's dried up right here. And then I think there was another one at the other end that's dried up too. See, this one's coming across because of the beaver dam. Right. Beaver dam, if the beaver dam was, uh, you know, somebody made a hole in it. Yeah, because this used to be just woods. This wasn't flooded yeah. like that. Yeah, because that's that's one pass over there. I think there's another one that's up here somewhere. Okay, I think this might be the trail that goes down to the water right here. This was all washed out. Yeah, it was all total water. We had to kind of do the tiptoe getting down there last time. Let's go check out the water. Look at that cool color. Ooh, I have to step in that. Look at that. Can you see the algae? Yeah. Mm. That's from all the, uh, the oak leaves. Debris and stuff, yeah, the leaves, leaf debris. I couldn't do that last time. I had my white sneakers on. Yeah, we hopped across here. Oh yeah, we went across these. Hold on, I'm gonna go that way. We went across these branches over here. Let's see how deep it is. That's yeah, not horrible. I don't have any leaks in my shoes. <laughs> it's beautiful. We're over at the lake. No. A little minnow. Oh yeah. Let's oh, see. a bunch of them right there. Let's see if I can get them on the camera. See a whole school of them. Oh, here they come. There they are, right there. Can you guys see him? You say you found a big... Oh, not big, but a big, bigger big, minnow. Yeah. About three inches long. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's pretty. This is a rock rose. Oh, wow, smell that. That's unbelievable. Mm, that does smell really good. Yeah, look how beautiful that is. Get a shot of it in the sun. Wish I had smell vision. Mm. All right. Oh, 
that's some more of those pink flowers that we saw before. See them? When I was on the trail and I said, yeah. look at the pink flowers. Oh, yes, yes, now I see them. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. We're just on the last stretch back to the Jeep. Don't forget to, uh, don't forget to like this video, guys. And uh, hit the subscribe button. We're starting a new channel. I think possibly maybe Yvonne and Brian's adventures. We basically do a lot of things around in New England. Um, this year we're going to try to really branch out. You know, why, uh, why pigeonhole yourself into, you know, a small amount of areas. I mean, before, before I met Brian, um, I was eating sugar, refined sugar, and uh, it was causing a lot of problems. So if I would, I didn't realize until now, when I, when I look back, um, but if I was driving anywhere, even with my kids, when they were younger, or it doesn't even matter, anywhere, I didn't want to go anywhere more than 20 minutes. Very irritating. Uh, I'd always drive, you know, as fast as I could to get there, like 95. So basically you're, you're driving fast, you're worked up, you're kind of, you know, white knuckling it because you're, you know, have to hyper focus on driving. You don't want to do it. it causes a big problem. Anyways, so I, Quit sugar probably, what's it been, six months? F five months, four months? It's been a little. A little while, six months maybe. Yeah, maybe six months. And um, now I noticed, well, besides the inflammation and pain that has gone away, mysteriously, I can get out of bed without any problems now. Um, the, without the sugar, I can actually enjoy a car ride. Um, I travel an hour to my mother's in Burlington, Mass, and I just kind of drive, you know, I find the speed that's enjoyable, you know, to be comfortable at. My foot is resting comfortably. I feel very comfortable driving, and I'm not annoyed going, you know, ah, we're only halfway, you know. So instead of taking an hour driving, you go at 95 and it only cuts off, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, not even, maybe. And uh, it's, it's miserable, it's, it's totally unhappy. So I've noticed a big no, uh, change without the uh, sugar. So it's really good. I definitely wouldn't have gone hiking. We just went hiking and I feel perfectly fine. So, Yahoo! I'm pretty excited. Okay. Yeah, it's fantastic. Do a lot more. Yep. Took the bike for a long ride the other day, and he kept on asking me if I was okay, and I was, uh, yeah. And then the next day, I was actually okay too. Yeah. Like bright green. Is it a fly of some sort? Or a beetle? Can you guys see it? Yeah, it's some kind of beetle. Oh, that's killer. It's like iridescent. Yeah. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, that's cool. I like him. <laughs> Alright guys. We're gonna go find some lunch. Maybe we're gonna do Thai food. Maybe we're gonna do. Yeah, whatever. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe from Yvonne and Brian's Adventures. See you later, guys.